Hello, good morning, happy Saturday. Welcome back to another weekend in my life. If you're new here, hi, my name's Sam. I'm a hairdresser and I am currently getting ready to go to the salon. I have a full day of clients today, which a full day for me because I don't work with an assistant and I also don't like to work longer than like six to eight hour shifts at a time. That will usually be anywhere from three to four clients depending on what kind of services they're getting. I also do color corrections. So sometimes if I have like a big color correction, I'll just have that one client the whole day. Today I have three clients at the salon. They are all brand new to me. Two of them, I believe, have been to the salon before with other stylists, but I am one of the few right now that work Saturdays. It's been working out in my favor though because I am newer to the town that I live in. So trying to kind of like rebuild my clientele, working the days that most of the other stylists don't work has been really helpful for me because obviously a lot of clients that work just like a regular nine to five, they need either weeknights or weekends. So being able to take Saturday clients has definitely helped me and I've had quite a few clients like switch over to me because my schedule just like works better for them. So yeah, two of them, like I said, have been to the salon before. They are both down for highlight haircuts. And then I have a third client that's just coming in for a haircut. Um, I kind of squeezed her in because she was really desperate for a trim. So we will see. That should hopefully be pretty quick. I'm going to like just cut her hair while my first client is processing. I don't usually like to double book myself if I can help it, especially because like I said, I do not currently have an assistant to help me. So it can be really tricky, especially because most of the clients I've had recently are new clients. So I don't know their hair. I don't know specifically what they want, how long it's gonna take me to do each step of the process. Usually squeezing a haircut in isn't a huge deal. So that's what we're doing today. Let me show you what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing this crop top from Target, these dress pants from Express, and then my shoes are <laughs> very old, um, but they're from Aldo. But I mean, these pants are like so long on me, I need to get them hemmed because they're just ridiculous. Pop in some earrings. I love these ones. They're my favorite at the moment. These chunky hoops. They are called the Abbey from Ana Luisa. I am gonna head to the salon now. It is currently 9.09. .09. My first client isn't until 10, but I like to get to the salon as early as possible. Anywhere between like 30 and 15 minutes before my first client so that way I have time to set up so I'm gonna leave now I should get there like around 9 30 So client number one came in to get her highlights touched up. She had last got them done back in February, so not too long ago. I immediately noticed, like I do with a lot of highlight clients, that her hairline in the back was very dark. And during our consultation, she mentioned that she pulls her hair back quite often. And she said that she doesn't like when it looks so dark around her face. And she especially doesn't like all the darkness around her hairline on the sides. But the back, she said she never even really thought about it. She doesn't really see it. But when I showed her and asked her, she said she did want to brighten that up. So I just did my usual like partial foil application where I just go all the way around the hairline. And then I just apply a few foils up top. So I completely left in between in the back and on the sides untouched so that she would still have some dimension throughout her roots because she said she did want it dimensional still, but she also wanted to be as bright and as blonde as possible. She also did not want her color to be ashy at all and she lifted really clean. I mean, as you could see, her natural color is already light to begin with. So I just did a teeny tiny root tap with 8N 
And then for her toner, I did 9GI, but I diluted it with a bunch of clear so that it wouldn't tone her too much. And you can see how much brighter that hairline back there looks. I just think it looks so much more natural and seamless. I didn't end up getting any footage of my second client. She was just a trim, but my third client ended up actually being a color correction. So she had been seeing one of my coworkers for a really long time, and they had just been kind of doing the same thing every time she came in, and she just never thought to speak up and request something different. And she had expressed to me during the consultation that she really wasn't loving the color she had. She felt like it looked very artificial, and she wanted to look more like a natural redhead. She wanted something more copper as opposed to like the really dark red that she had. So we looked at some color swatches, picked the color that she wanted. I applied that copper color to her roots with permanent color so we could cover those grays first. And then I went through section by section and I painted over the dark red color with a bleach wash. So I just took bleach, I think I did like 15 volume developer and shampoo and just painted that on to try and brighten up and lift out some of that red so that we could color it more of that like lighter copper natural redhead color she was looking for. So this is what it looked like after I rinsed all of that out. You can see it was like a little bit uneven. So then I took the same copper color that I used for her roots and I applied that all over her mid strand and ends to get a nice even all over color and this was her final result i even explained to her before we started that it wouldn't necessarily be 100 percent perfect after the first session it might take us a couple appointments to ultimately get to like that perfect copper color she's looking for but i think just for that first session it came out really good and we were both really pleased with the results i'm home it feels so good to be home oh. It was a really, really good day. Everything went smoothly. I think I had mentioned I double booked my first two clients and that worked out perfectly, even though my first client actually ended up being 15 minutes late. But even still, timing wise, everything worked out perfectly. Put her foils in, then client number two showed up and while client one was processing, I did client two's haircut and everyone's hair turned out amazing and everyone was really happy with their hair. And I finished right at the time that I was hoping to be finished at, which was especially exciting because my last client turned out to be a color correction, which I wasn't anticipating. It was just a really good day. Now it's about five o'clock. I stayed a little bit to clean and then I was having a glass of rose with my coworker. We were just like chatting and catching up, but I'm not gonna lie, I am tired and I was on my feet the whole entire time. So I'm really looking forward to sitting down. I also have not had anything to eat since breakfast. So I am gonna whip up a late lunch, early dinner. So I'm gonna heat up a factor meal and they are sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Thank you so much to factor for working with me again. If you've never heard of factor before, they make these pre-made meals. All you have to do just poke a few holes in the film, throw them in the microwave for two minutes, and that's it. They are made with fresh ingredients, nothing is frozen, and what I really love about them is that they have nutrition info on the back. I have been on a fitness journey the past few months, and I've been trying to track my macros. I love that factor. Makes it easy for me to stick to my goals. I like to get them on the weeks that I know I'm gonna be a lot busier, and especially for the days when I'm gonna be at the salon with clients, because I know I'm gonna be working all day, super busy on my feet, and as soon as I get home, I am not gonna wanna have to cook anything. So it's nice to have these in my fridge that I can just throw in the microwave. So I'm gonna have the turkey chili mac with roasted zucchini, corn, and poblano peppers. So I'm just poking some holes in the film. Throw it in the microwave, two minutes. They offer meat, seafood, and veggie-based dishes based on your dietary preferences, including keto, calorie smart, and chef's favorites. I usually like doing the calorie smart, and their menu is updated weekly, so you can just select your own meals yourself, or you can let them craft your meals based on your taste preferences and meal history. Oh my god, this smells 
amazing. I'm just gonna put this on a plate. Oh my God. Mm, so good. You guys gotta try it. You can get started with Factor for up to 40% off by clicking the link in my description and using my code SAM50. But I am gonna go finally sit down and eat this. I'm gonna make myself a coffee too, actually, because I'm just starting to feel kind of tired and sluggish. I do want to go out later. My friend has one of her friends from out of town visiting, so she invited me out to come and meet her friend and go out with them. It's so nice out today, so I definitely want to take advantage of the fact that it's the weekend and it's nice weather and everybody is out and doing stuff. I will catch up with you later and let you know what I end up doing. Okay, it's a few hours later, I am about to go meet up with my friends. My face was just, I think because it was so humid out today, my skin was just feeling so disgusting and greasy. So I took my makeup off and I redid it and I'm liking how it looks. I feel like the skin looks so flawless and like airbrushed, but I just don't think the shade match isn't quite right. But whatever it's dark now but i realized that i had this smashbox studio skin foundation and i haven't used this in so long but i used to really love it i forgot i had it honestly i mean i love the look of it i just need a better shade oh i did want to show you after i finish eating my lunch oh this lighting sucks there we go. I uploaded some photos to my phone from my camera with the pictures that I took of my clients. So yeah, I uploaded those, edited some of them and posted on my hair page. Posted that, wrote up a nice detailed caption i try obviously when it's like a super chaotic day if i just don't have time i'm running behind i'm really overwhelmed it is what it is but i try to be good about giving myself an extra like 10 minutes at the end of each appointment so that i have time to take photos and i just try to get as much content as i can depending on how much time i have what i'm doing um how like cool the client is with me getting photos of their hair and stuff like that i try to take videos throughout the process sometimes so i can get instagram reels content for my vlogs tons of before and after pictures you don't have to be active on social media in order to be a hairstylist and like be booked with clients but it definitely helps especially if you are a younger stylist and your target demographic like your target clientele is younger people and i try to edit the content right away because then otherwise it ends up sitting on my camera and then i forget about it and then i accidentally delete it that's happened a few times so i try to just like send it directly to my phone as soon as i get home or sometimes even before i leave the salon that way i have the content ready to go so that's what i was doing earlier but i am done with work things for the night. I'm gonna go enjoy time with my friends. I will see you in the morning. Hey. <laughs> it is currently 321. Last night was fun. Didn't get too crazy. I just went up with my friends. Um, we stayed out for a couple hours, got some drinks, kind of bounced around a little bit. And then of course, like we wanted to go out dancing. Like I said, my one friend had her like best friend from high school in town visiting and the one place we went to which is usually really good like that's usually the go-to spot the dj there i just was not feeling it like i don't know i feel like everything he was playing was so corny and it was just not the kind of vibe i was looking for but because i had drove myself i was like i don't want to 
be worried about like leaving my car downtown and having to come back for it the next day and all of that so i decided to just have like a couple drinks and then i cut myself off and i was just drinking club soda for a while then everybody just got kind of tired because nobody really felt like staying out super late and then this morning i slept in pretty late till like 10 o'clock 10 30 ish and i've just been having such a lazy day it's like really gross outside it's been like so gloomy and just raining on and off and the reality at least for me like as someone who is naturally more introverted i can be very outgoing but it's not necessarily natural for me and it takes a lot out of me to be that way so working in a salon constantly having to interact with people with clients it does take a lot out of you i mean the job can also just be like physically draining as well but socially it's very draining so i always feel like sundays are my day to just stay home the entire day and just not talk to anyone not socialize and just recharge my battery so that's what i did today i have literally just been sitting on the couch on my phone scrolling through instagram watching youtube videos just having a very very lazy sunday and i don't feel guilty about it because you know that's what i need in order to operate at full capacity for the rest of the week so yeah it's like a weird time of day where i'm like kind of hungry but not hungry enough for like a full on meal. So I made some hard boiled eggs. I'm gonna have that as a little snack. Oh, and you know what? I just remembered I have a couple smoothies left over from Factor. Mango smoothie, it's so good. So I'm gonna have this with my hard boiled eggs as my little midday snack. I'm gonna go back to the couch, watch some more YouTube videos, maybe find a movie to watch or a new series. Comment down below and let me know what show you are currently watching. My one friend keeps telling me that I need to watch Bridgerton, but let me know what you're into at the moment. I'm always looking for new show recommendations. It's a couple hours later, I'm making dinner. I was very tempted to just order delivery because I was really craving Chinese food or like Taco Bell. Like, I don't know, just something kind of greasy, but then I was like, no. You have food here that you can cook, so you shouldn't be spending the extra money when it's unnecessary. And also, you should eat healthier. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm staying strong, practicing willpower. So, I have some rice going. I'm about to make ground turkey, and then I have spinach with garlic that I am about to saute. Waiting for that to heat up. And I'm just going to saute that with salt and pepper and olive oil. And then the ground turkey, I'm just gonna do a bunch of seasoning. I usually just do like salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, some cayenne pepper. Hello, don't mind me. Just using the viewfinder as a mirror. My nighttime skincare routine is I put a really thick glob of moisturizer on my face and I just let it sit and then as it starts to absorb, I just rub it in. That's what is on my face right now. It's currently 10.33. I literally didn't leave the apartment all day other than to just take my dog out for walks, but it was a nice day. I feel really nice and recharged and ready to go out and be social tomorrow. I actually have a lot of stuff going on tomorrow, so I needed today as my little reset. And now I've just been sitting in bed the last couple of hours editing this vlog that you're currently watching. I have to get up really early because I'm doing yoga at the beach, finally doing it, <laughs> and that class starts at 7.30. So I am gonna head to bed and wrap up this vlog here but stay tuned for the next one i'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow thank you guys so much for watching don't forget check the description for my link 
and discount code to factor and i'll see you guys really soon in my next one bye oh yeah i don't think benny was really in this video but um he says bye bye thanks for watching see you in the next one